Hello everyone, NADLABS here. I just want to start off this little clip by saying this is not a tutorial in any way, shape, or form. This is just like a little experiment I did with Godot. Oh my god, stop moving. Um, yeah, this is just a quick experiment and using the rope tutorial, which you will see in the top right up here, I actually was able to make tank treads. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to be showcasing tank treads in today's episode. And this is more like a Godot experiment rather than a tutorial. And of course, I'll be walking you guys through how I actually made this, the steps I had to take to get something like this, but mainly this will be for uh, just showcasing something you could do in Godot. So yeah, if this interests you, please stick around and let's get right into it. Oops, I threw out a... Ooh. Okay, anyway, so you can see this is the scene we have. Of course, it's very, very crude. We have like static bodies over here on the side. So sprites, collision shapes. In fact, I'll make this black because it just helps by... Uh, it just makes the seen a lot less distracting. We have a simple mouse movement controller with a camera. We have some wheels and we have a rope. And now and now I'm using the exact same uh, code you may have seen in the previous video. If you didn't, it's up here again. I'm using the exact same code and the only difference is I added a little bit extra here which actually helps me with uh, piecing together the last pin joint. It just allows me to uh, piece the first one and the last one. And the reason I'm doing this is because it actually helps me make those tank treads. And if you don't know what tank treads are, they're basically tank treads are kind of like metallic rope. I'm grossly oversimplifying, but that's essentially what they're like. If you really think about it, down to first principles, they're kind of like metallic rope with a lot of grip. And you can see that uh, we have some wheels over here because tanks also have wheels. And you can see that we just have a lot of friction, a lot, of, uh, not a lot of bounce. It's a really rough surface and absorbent because I really want to make sure that they stink. And yeah, that's all I wanted to showcase on this. Uh, if you wanted to make tank treads, I'll leave the code and the project down below. And yeah, you can see that once they hit the ground, they start rolling. Now, eventually one of them will actually start to go above the other one, but they're basically tank treads, right? If you like right here, they'll start rolling. Once they go down, see they start rolling. And that wasn't like a tank tread, but if you rerun the scene and you run it over here like this, you can see when they, once they hit the ground, it's essentially like tank treads moving across. It's very ugly, I will admit that, but hey, it's something you can do in Godot. And if you want to learn how to do this, the source code, everything word for word, letter by letter is down there in the description and something I want to showcase. So yeah, that's all I want to say. Have an amazing day.